Okay, the king of Pyropuff Peak. Ooh, it's a boss, everybody. I figured out what I want to change my name to. It's Pyropuff. <laughs> Pyropuff. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> All right, Slay the Shoddy and Pyropuff. This guy's an angry dragon. Ooh. He's an angry dragon. Is he a big buff daddy dragon? Like the ones in the new Spyro? No, Selena, you cannot fantasize over him. It's okay, I never fantasize about the dragons in Spyro either. Oh, look at him. But you know they had an agenda. <laughs> they did, there's no doubt. He's kind of a butterface, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like Angelina He's kind of like a summer tea. Some are, some are here, some are there. Oh, man. He's got them pyro puffs. I get why they call him that. Yeah, look how Moving puffy his cover. lips are. He's got, he's got like really supple lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to kiss you with, my dearie. Imagine kissing that dragon. Oh, my God. I mean, he would, like, eat your face. I know. <laughs> why do you think I'm kissing him? <laughs> I want to die. To <laughs> die. Some kind of weird death wish. Hashtag millennial humor. Just let me get eaten by a dragon kissing me. I just want to die already. Mom? Mom. <laughs> it's like a whole new kind of like... What was that back in the 80s? The um, D&D &D scare? Oh, the satanic panic? Yeah, it's like a yeah. new kind of satanic panic, but it's like... Teens of all the rage is trying to get killed by weird stuff. Well, like... Necrophilia I've, I've, panic. It's so the fun... I don't know, man. I tell you what... <laughs> Our generation jokes a lot about killing ourselves, which is funny. But now, all these I don't, these these kids are on another level, man. Why? Do tell. I, they're just funny. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. The, the kids are just funny these days. Well, they grew up with, the, you know, the, I think we had the internet in its nascent er period, and they yeah, we had it in the RAR XD period. And we thought that like everything that was random was funny. See, like we. A lot of, I think the problem is that a lot of what we grew up with that was funny to us is now genuinely pretty cringy. Yeah. But I think that comedy, I don't know, comedy evolves over time too. So even though it's in a different arena, like it's going to keep evolving. Like Whoa. I think about it. I'm like, yeah, there's like a lot of stuff on the internet that I used to laugh at that I probably wouldn't laugh at now. But I'm like, man, look at, Back then, Dane Cook was like the number one comedian, and I tried to watch his stuff recently. I'm like, he's not that funny. Oh. I, I don't know. Yeah, yo, who is funny? Chappelle. Okay, just... Chappelle will always be funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Tread lightly if you watch that new one. It's pretty ra raunchy. It is very <laughs> raunchy, and I'm glad he did it. Oh my gosh. He doesn't care what people have to say. Chappelle's a funny guy. He's super funny. I even disagree with him on certain points here and there, but I'm, he's just funny enough where I kind of don't care. Also, sorry you fell. Yeah. I just wanted to... <laughs> sorry about it. <laughs> we were talking out, talking through it. Hey guys, pro tip out there, just also want to put this out there, just because like a PSA, like, guys, Yu-Gi-Oh is a really slippery slope. <laughs> I saw the other, <laughs> and, I went out, uh, I, I was like, I see you, I see you're on episode six. Oh, I'm just going to shut your mouth. Just, just be careful if you start watching it because all of a sudden you might find yourself on eBay looking at cards and it's not good. <laughs> Tim, I started watching Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds this week mm -hmm. and it's the, it's the Yu-Gi-Oh! with motorcycles and it's good <laughs> and, it's, and it's fun to watch. See, this is I have this problem where I have this cartoon podcast that I talk about way too much to these two but I don't think I mentioned very much in the show at least. And uh, every time they do something, it always intrigues me. And then they talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! for like the second time, and I'm like, I should check it out. And then I do check it out, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of good. And then I enjoy it, and like, here we are, eight episodes in. Doesn't have Kaiba, I'm not interested. <laughs> no, it has new cast. Let's see, I like it for the new cast. It's fun. It's like fun to watch, and I have nostalgia. I was telling Selena, I have nostalgia for watching the duels, because I used to watch them so much as a kid. And I want to get the game and play the cards without having to pay for the cards. I kind of want to go back and rewatch OG. Um, I'm thinking about it too, but I want to finish 5Ds first. Honestly, guys, not to be silly and goofy, but like 5Ds has like a pretty, like a fun, real story. It's kind of gritty and at least feels like it's got some legs. I do want to. I do want to watch. That. I have heard good things about it. Yeah, that's why people I wanted did, to watch people it. just didn't want to give it a chance. Like, you gotta, I, I also told this sling already, but you have to get over the fact that it's, like, made to sell cards, because, of course, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh! is all about. You get past that, get past the motorcycles, which are actually kind of cool. 
<laughs> if you just open your mind a little bit. But it's a good show. And Selena, like, also, did you ever play Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid, Tim? Yeah. All right, well, this is for both of you. Every Yu-Gi-Oh card is legal. Did you know that? All in of the them. show or no, just in the in card, general? No, in the TCG. Like, you know how Pokemon... I think that they ban some of them. Well, from tournaments. Well, there, yeah, there's like a there's a ban list, but the ban list is because of like Ubers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, if we had our cards from as we were kids, like, they are still tournament legal. Time to bust out Thien... Was it Th Thienning the Great Sphinx? <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember when that expansion came out and we were like yes. stoked because it had like overpowered cards in it? I remember the day I got the booster pack and I was like... <sighs> And I immediately went out to Toys R Us and got the same Yeah, yeah cuz I didn't know that they all were the same cards from the movie. No, but yeah, I thought that was so cool. I was like, Pokémon resets their sets every couple of years. So like, you can't use the same they're not always tournament legal, which makes sense. But all of Yu-Gi-Oh's cards are legal for tournaments. That's cool. I was like, wait for them to be able to like evolve the series cuz there's some new summoning stuff, but not a ton of crazy new stuff and just keep everything relevant. So, yeah, it's I don't you I know, love it. It's fun. My it's friend enjoyable. Tyler knows more about Yu-Gi-Oh than like any other person I know. And he was telling me something about Oh, there was like something they put in the game that really yeah. things up so then they did take it out. And I can't remember what it was. There are like new um there's XZ summoning, there's pendulum summoning. It was pendulum summoning. Was it pendulum? That's what he was telling me about. It's actually like I, I looked up um, I, well, I like threw a few like YouTube videos on the background of like how to play because I was like curious about like how to play the right way because as we all know none of us played the right way when we were kids. No. Um, but actually the new summoning like they're not they're weird and the pendulum was weird but it's actually kind of creative because like the gist of it from what I understand you basically have these monster cards that can also be magic or spell cards. Okay based on how you want to use them in the moment. So I guess I get why it could sort of break things a little bit, but it's kind of neat. It's kind of a neat idea. I definitely want to start, because I know that they have the app where you can play it online. Yeah, you and I would that. really like to do that just to see how I feel about it. Yes. Because I'll be honest, I have enough Pokemon cards. I'm not trying to start another card collection. Yeah. So. That's how I feel too. I'm like, I don't actually want to pay for cards. I would rather play online. But I do have to say, another thing I told Selena when I saw her, and I've already admitted to her my this this newfound guilty pleasure, let's see how long it lasts, like, I have always loved Yu-Gi-Oh's art style. It's just so, like... It is really good. ...pointy and dark, and I, it's, it's, I love it's all the monsters. It's the invader's of anime. There you go. I feel like it was the first real anime I ever watched in my life, because technically, like, Pokemon anime is pretty, like... I don't know. It was it, up there for me. It doesn't have as many tropes. Like, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh's got more tropes as an anime than, like, Pokemon did I time. didn't watch Pokemon as a kid. I did watch Yu-Gi-Oh in the fifth grade. Um, my first anime was... I think my first anime was the Bebop movie. And then... Akira. Yeah, I know. That's because my dad really, really likes animation. But then it was Akira, and then him and I started watching Robotech. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I always had the stigma about anime till just a few years yeah. ago. But I, sometimes I'm like, does Robotech even really classify as anime? Because it's anime style, it's made by a bunch of Japanese people, but it came from a studio in Canada. Yeah. Well, see, that's where it gets tricky. Yeah, it because was made Robotech, by Japanese people who live in Canada. Robotech is technically three different series mashed together. True. Um, three different anime series. Yeah. I thought you were just gonna make a Canadian joke. I didn't know you were gonna be serious. No, it's just, it, yeah, it's like it's got three different parts that are like pretty much unrelated. That's fascinating. You know, shout I mean, there's always Canada. robots. <laughs> Canada's got some sick animation teams. They do a lot of cool stuff. I'm trying to remember the names of all the captains in the show. Who's the who's who's the blonde one? Ah, uh, Rick Hunter. Yes, yes, thank you. He was my favorite. Also, Lin-Min May is the most yeah. annoying character I've ever seen in my life. She's a bimbo. Yeah, Lin-Min May was a bimbo. <laughs> She's a bimbo. She's a bimbo. By the way, Tim, so sorry. You did such a good job last time, and I didn't get to compliment you because I was too busy rambling about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's all good. You and your gotcha star. I'm so proud of you. Slate is applauding. <laughs> I start off with that slow clap. Look at these cheap Build cheap. Build it up. They're like having a seance around this weed. Whoa. Oh, 
I want to cosplay as Doodle Bob. <laughs> Selena, did you see the trailer for the next SpongeBob movie? I did. It actually looks really good. You want to see it together when it comes out? It's coming out in uh, May. Oh yeah, we went and saw the SpongeBob um, out of water when it I came haven't, out. And you know what? I haven't seen it since. Have you seen it since? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. It's Does still it, pretty good. Is it? I I really. It's should not. Watch it again. I mean, you can't really compare it to the first movie. Because the yeah. first movie still had the original writing team. Yeah, the first movie was just... So obviously that's going to always be the best one. And that's you know the what? thing with Spongebob is like, the movies, I'm like, okay, the movies are obviously going to be a little bit funnier than the show because the, the people who write the show now just don't know what the they're doing. I've tried yeah. watching it a million times. And hashtag budgets. I right? really, really honestly cannot stand new Spongebob episodes. I haven't watched any of new ones, so I haven't, like, touched They're it. They're not good. You might get, like, a chuckle or two out of them. Yeah. It's kind of sad, really. It's a bummer. Tim! Yeah. Yes! Did you get all the, the jewels? The family jewels? I didn't jewels? find the hidden gold mushroom, though. Guys, come back next time and see if Tim can make up for his mistake. <laughs> oh my god! Bye, you guys. <laughs> Just, Wes, stop the episode. Just, we're done. <laughs> Bye. Only God will forgive you.